and welcome back to the channel on this video I want to talk about bike safety and especially the helmet and you'll see my helmet right there so that helmet first of all let's talk a little bit about it that is the X Nido helmet it is a helmet that is up to class 3 riding uh, and there's inside of it and it does have a headlight on the front and on the back there's a tail light and maybe I can show you if it shows up on here and there's three settings so if you can see that's flashing that one's a solid uh, light and that one's a slow flashing light and then on the front if you can see that that's the headlight so the X Needle helmet I wanted to uh, mention about it for one thing um, it's a good thing to wear a helmet and uh, it's a good helmet I can uh, vouch for that I've worn it for several months now I've had it quite a while I'm not exactly sure how long I've had it more than a year I believe now and uh, I really like it it's my go-to helmet and I also wear these gloves right there those are the Kemimoto motorcycle gloves as you see here the knuckles are protected and um, so let's hop on the bike and we'll talk a little bit more about safety particularly the helmet because I think that's the most important part of anything you wear um, to protect yourself and uh, once I get my camera back on here we'll go for a ride and talk a little bit more about bike safety Put it on right there and right now I can tell you it's uh, we got a pretty good wind up and when you ride into the wind I'm gonna put my helmet on here when you ride into that wind it's a pretty stiff wind and you can really feel the resistance when you're trying to ride right into the wind you can feel your the bike moving around a little bit so let's go for a little ride here and talk a little bit about bike safety particularly the helmet as I say that's the to me the most important thing a rider can wear uh, protection wise and depending on what state you're in they have laws on helmet wear for a bike or an e-bike in this case we're talking e-bike but uh i can tell you in the state of oregon if you're 16 or older you have the option to wear or not wear a helmet and Personally, to me, it's a no-brainer to wear a helmet. And there have been a few times when I didn't wear a helmet, and that's only because I forgot to wear it. You know, I get going out and I think, wait a minute, I forgot my helmet. I think we've all probably done that a few times, and so other than that, very few times that that's ever happened. I usually remember to put my helmet on and one thing I wanted to mention I did, when I showed the uh, helmet uh, this helmet doesn't have it but you can buy the X Nido helmet with the liner so in the winter if you're riding it'll protect you uh, more from the cold I don't have a liner in my helmet and I'm just wearing a toque but might be a good idea I believe the liner is an additional $25 and I wanted to mention about the helmet as well that X Nido now has dropped the price of their helmets they used to be $150 and they've dropped it down to $129 now and I do have a link in the descriptions uh, and an affiliate uh, code which will get you 
10% off additional off that 129 so it'll bring it down to uh, I think it's 116.10 so not bad it's, it's a nice helmet it's got that nice retro look I kind of like it it comes in several different colors so uh, if you want to go check it out and I also wear, and I haven't worn it for quite a while, and I'll tell you why shortly, but a uh, motorcycle helmet. I do have a motorbike helmet that is DOT approved, and I can leave a link also for that. I purchased that on Amazon, and at the time I purchased it, which was about, I'm going to say, around two years ago the price was only $65 and I gotta tell you it's a really nice helmet um, it's a full full faced helmet and it's got a or it came with a uh, uh, two visors one is a clear visor and one is a sun visor and It comes in a few different colors and sizes too, so you got to make sure you get the size you want. But uh, it's a good, it's a good helmet. Um, so if you're going to ride a little faster than class three, you might want to wear something like a motorcycle DOT approved helmet. And I'm going to tell you the reason why I do not wear it not very often anyway is because when I shoot videos my sound gets really muffled in there even though I can open the visor some you still can't hear me very well and I know I can fix it by buying a microphone and putting the microphone inside the helmet but I just haven't bothered I just been wearing this helmet I like the X needle helmet so I've been wearing that one and I failed to mention I believe the uh, X needle helmet also is free shipping uh, maybe in the comments you can let me know some of the things you like to wear to protect yourself I mean for me like I say it's only basically the gloves and the uh, helmet I know some other people wear lots more protection than that but I pretty much just wear the the helmet for sure and the gloves primarily these gloves but sometimes I wear the uh, other gloves but these ones are good because they protect your knuckles if you uh, were to go down. And I don't know if I, if you've heard the story though about me going down on the bike. I've only had it happen once that I have uh, fallen off my bike. And boy, that's a stiff wind to go in into. Um, and I'll tell you quickly the story. So one day, if you didn't already know, I ride my electric bike to work and back every day. And that's only a one mile ride, so it's not very far. But one day, there was, I think it was a couple of winters ago. It might have even been three winters ago. I think it might be three winters ago. It doesn't matter. But anyway, um, I was coming out of my driveway I have a short one car length driveway that's two cars wide and I was coming out of there and the driveway is slight slope not too much but a little bit of a slope and I was coming out of the driveway with the bike and I, I should tell you the bike I was riding at the time was the Rad Rover 
the Rad Rover 4, uh, my first electric bike, and it was icy out there, and I didn't know it was icy. And so when I got, and I was just coasting out of the driveway, you know, down the uh, little slope, not much of a slope, but a little bit of a slope to get your uh, speed going a little bit, you know, gets the bike moving. And I'm turning to go onto the road as I'm going down my driveway. And, and this is at about 5.15 in the morning. It's dark outside, you know, at that time. And the rear end of the bike slid out from under me and uh, the bike went sliding and I went off the bike. Uh, I think my knee or my leg hurt a little bit, but I just got back on the bike and I went where I went to work. But I mean, it didn't hurt me enough to cause any problem and the bike was fine. But uh, that's the uh, one and only time that's happened. And so that's one, one of the reasons, there's a million reasons why you should wear a helmet. And thank goodness I didn't hit my head. And if I did, I had the helmet on and I was going slow. So I would have, I think, been protected enough with the helmet. This helmet, like I say, does up to uh, a class three protection for uh, 28 miles per hour. So. so anyway, that's my one and only wipeout so far, thank goodness. And it wasn't much of a wipeout, like I say, I wasn't going very fast at all, but still I did go down and the bike did go down for a slide. So if you want to share any experiences you've had, um, having an accident, like going down and maybe the helmet protecting you, uh, or whichever apparatus you wear, let us know in the comments below. And hey, thank you for tuning in on this episode. And we'll be back with another video on the channel. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And once again, thank you for joining me on this one. And until next time, see ya.